And a similarity transformation, we noted that when you transform the system, then the characteristic equation of the system does not change. And the transfer function of the system also remains invariant. If you have a matrix equation, given a matrix equation, AX is equals to lambda X, where A is a matrix, and lambda is a scalar. The values of the scalar lambda for which non-trivial solutions exist are called the eigenvalues of the matrix A. And the corresponding solutions of X are called the eigenvectors of the matrix A. We can write the matrix equation as lambda I minus A X is equal to zero. If you have to take A X to the right, because A is a matrix and lambda is a scalar, we need to pre-multiply lambda with an identity matrix of the same order as A to perform the subtraction, and therefore our equation becomes lambda I minus A into X is equal to zero. The equation lambda I minus A determinant is equal to zero is called the characteristic equation of the matrix A. So when you get the determinant of lambda I minus A is equal to zero, then that is called the characteristic equation of the matrix A. The roots of the characteristic equation gives us the eigenvalues of the matrix A. And then the corresponding eigenvalues, the corresponding solutions of X to each of the eigenvalues become the eigenvectors of the matrix A. And therefore, to obtain the eigenvalues of the matrix A, basically we saw for the characteristic equation, we get the roots and those roots become the eigenvalues of the matrix A. To determine the eigenvectors, then we take each of the eigenvalues and substitute into the matrix equation and obtain a solution of X, which becomes the corresponding eigenvector to the eigenvalue of the matrix A. I will illustrate this in form of an example. And in my example, we are to determine the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the matrix A in the matrix equation AX is equals to lambda X, where the matrix A is given as 4, 1, 3, 2. So we determine the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the matrix A, where A is the matrix 4, 1, 3, 2. To determine the eigenvalues, then we take the characteristic equation, lambda I minus A determinant is equal to zero. Because A is a two by two, then I will be a two by two identity matrix. And therefore, we'll have lambda zero, zero, lambda as lambda I minus matrix A, which is four, one, three, two determinant is equals to zero. This will give us lambda minus four, then negative one minus three, lambda minus two determinant is equals to zero, which will give us lambda squared minus six lambda plus eight minus three, minus three is equals to zero, which will be lambda squared minus six lambda plus five is equals to zero. This is our characteristic equation. And the factors of the characteristic equation are five and one. So we can write lambda minus five into lambda minus one is equals to zero where lambda one will be five, 
and lambda two will be one. And these are the eigen values of the matrix A. Corresponding to each eigen value, there is a solution of X we call the eigen vector of the matrix A. So we can take each of them at a time. For lambda one is equals to five, our matrix equation becomes four, one, three, two, which is our matrix A, multiplied by the vector X one, X two, is equals to five into x1, x2. From these, we can have 4x1 plus x2 is equals to 5x1, from which our x2 will be equal to x1. We also have 3x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 5x2. And you notice that 3x1 will be equal to 3x2, from which x2 is equals to x1. Then we choose the simplest values of our eigenvector. So if x1 is equals to 1, then x2 will also be equal to 1. And therefore, our first eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equals to 5 is 1, 1. Next, for lambda one, lambda 2 is equals to 1, we can write the matrix equation 4, 1, 3, 2 into x1, x2 will be equal to 1 into x1, x2, from which you get 4x1 plus x2 is equals to x1 and x2 will be equal to minus 3x1. Our 3x1 plus 2x2 will be equal to x2, from which again we notice that x2 will be equal to minus 3x1. Taking the simplest values of x1, if x1 is equal to 1, x2 will be equal to negative 3. And therefore, our eigen vector two will be the vector one, negative three. So the two eigen vectors are E1 is one, one, and E2 is one, negative three. Now we said that under similarity transformation, we can obtain or we can determine a transformation of matrix P from the eigenvectors of the matrix A as follows. So P will be the matrix E1, E2 formed from the eigenvectors of the matrix A, which will be 1, 1, 1, negative 3. Under similarity transformation, then we carry out the transformation. A hat is the matrix P inverse AP, which will be 1, 1, 1, negative 3 inverse, multiplied by the matrix A, which is 4, 3, 1, 2, multiplied by the matrix P, which is 1, 1, 1, negative 3, which will give us negative, this will be 1 over the determinant. The determinant is minus four, so this will be negative four into one. We interchange the terms of the major diagonal. We interchange the terms of the minor major diagonal as negative three, one, negate the terms of the minor diagonal as negative one, negative one into the product of these two matrices, which will be four, one that gives us five four minus three is one this is three two that is five this is three minus six which is negative three which will be equal to negative one over four into negative 15 negative five that gives us negative 20 negative three 
plus three, which is zero. Negative five plus five is zero. Negative one minus three is negative four, which will give us, this is five, zero, zero, one. And therefore, our transformation matrix A hat is five, zero, zero, one. Under similarity transformation, we said that the characteristic equation of matrix A does not change. So if we get the characteristic equation of the matrix A hat is equals to zero, will be lambda minus five, zero, zero, lambda minus one determinant is equals to zero, which will give us lambda squared minus six lambda plus five is equals to zero. And this is the same characteristic equation that we had for our matrix A. As you can see, if the matrix P which is our transformation matrix is obtained from the eigenvectors of the matrix A, then the transformation is carried out without changing the characteristic equation of the matrix A. Something else to note is that when you transform the matrix A using P obtained from the eigenvectors of the matrix A, the transformed matrix is a diagonal matrix. You notice it has terms only on the major diagonal then all the other terms are zero, and therefore the transformation is into diagonal form, so long as the transformation matrix P is obtained from the eigenvectors of the matrix A. In my next video, I will be addressing the repeated eigenvalue problem in a matrix equation. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video.